रेवंत हैज ए फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड एंगर ब्रदर वन डे रेवंत ब्रदर वेन टू ए शॉप एंड आस्क द शॉपकीपर टू गिव चॉकलेट्स बट शॉपकीपर रिप्लाइड एज ई चॉकलेट कॉस्ट इज फाइव रुपीज फर्स्ट गिव मी मनी देन आई विल गिव यू ए चॉकलेट देन रेवंत ब्रदर डिड नॉट हैव मनी he started crying and he went to home back to his brother and asked his brother bhaiya tell me what is money i don't have money shopkeeper asked me money but i don't have what is money he asked he is too small he doesn't have idea on money and he doesn't have money with him and he asked his brother ravant to explain about it his father heard that and replied as children i'll explain about money come here money is medium of exchange to buy anything we need money money is the part of life without money we cannot survive in this world our indian currency is rupee this is the symbol for rupee and 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise let us see few coins and currency this is 1 rupee coin and this is 2 rupees coin and this is 5 rupee coin see here this is 10 rupees and this is 20 rupees note this is 100 rupees and this is 200 rupees note this is 500 rupees note and this is 2000 rupees note see uh rupee symbol is in front of the number okay this is symbol for our indian currency father took the children to shop and asked them to select whatever they want raven selected one chocolate and one toy car and one more story book raven's father explained in this way cost of one chocolate is 10 rupees one toy car is 230 rupees and one story book cost is 50 rupees let us find the sum of these values but ravan's father had 300 rupees notes he has to give 290 rupees to the shopkeeper he gave to the shopkeeper 300 rupees how much he'll get back let us see we have to subtract 290 from 300 rupees Okay. See the difference is here ten. So here we did addition and subtraction of money. Okay. While using money, we need to use these two operations also: addition and subtraction. Let us find the total money due in this bill and how much change we will get back in this. Okay. Here the cost of shirt is given as two hundred twenty rupees twenty five paise, and the cost of pant is given as three hundred fifty rupees seventy five paise, and the cost of tie is given as one hundred sixty five rupees sixty paise. Okay, let us find the total. How do we find the total by adding these three values? Here, see five plus five is ten. Ten plus zero is ten. Write one here, zero here, and one plus Three is three. Three plus seven is ten. Ten plus six is sixteen. Write one here, six here. One plus zero is one. One plus zero is again one. One plus five is six. Okay. Now two plus five is seven. Seven plus six is thirteen. Write one here, three here, and come to the next place. One plus two is three. Three plus three is six. Six plus one is seven. What is the total cost of the bill? Seven hundred thirty-six rupees sixty paise. Okay. Now, here the amount paid is three hundred rupees notes and one five hundred rupee note. It means five hundred plus three hundred is eight hundred rupees paid. Eight hundred rupees paid. But the actual amount has to pay is seven hundred thirty-six rupees sixty paise. Okay.
So we will subtract 736 rupees 60 paise from 800 rupees. Then we will get the change. What is the bill amount? 736 rupees 60 paise. 736 rupees 60 paise. Here 0 paise. Okay. Now let us subtract this two. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 6. Is it possible to subtract 60 paise from 0 paise? So from here take 1 rupee. 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. This is 100 paise and here 800 minus 1 is 799 rupees. 799. 100 paise minus 60 paise is 40 paise. And here 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. 7 minus 7 is 0. So how much change here we will get back? 63 rupees 40 paise. See this example. Show different ways to make 100 rupees. Use more high value notes. Here, number of notes we need to find. Notes are given like this 50 rupees note, 20 rupees note, 10 rupees note and 5 rupees note. The usage also given beside. See if the first one, 5 rupees note and 10 rupees note we have to use. How many 10 rupees note and 5 rupees notes make 100 rupees? Let us see. Here, 9 10 rupees notes and 2 5 rupees notes make 100 rupees. See the next one. 10 rupees notes and 20 rupees notes we need to use. See here. According to the given condition, 4 20 rupees notes and 2 10 rupees notes make 100 rupees. See here, we need to use here 20 rupees notes, 10 rupees notes and 5 rupees notes. What is the condition? Use more high value notes. Okay. 4 20 rupees notes, 1 10 rupees note and 2 5 rupees notes make 100 rupees. 4 20 is 80 and 1 10 10, 2 5 is 10. Okay, 80 plus 10 plus 10 that is 100. See the next example. Here we need to use 50 rupees notes, 20 rupees notes and 10 rupees notes. 1 50 rupees note, 2 20 rupees notes and 1 10 rupees note equal to 100 rupees. 1 50 rupees is 50 and 2 20 rupees is 40 and 1 10 rupees is 10. So it is 50 plus 40 plus 10 that is equal to 100 rupees. Let's see this next example. Here we need to calculate the total uh, amount. See here, one example is completed here. Uh, one 20 rupees note and one 10 rupees note, one 5 rupees note and one 1 rupee coin and one 25 paise. How much? Let us see. Here, 20 plus 10 is 30, 30 plus 5 is 35, 35 plus 1 is 36, 36 rupees 25 paise is the sum. Let us solve the example here, 1 10 rupees note, 1 5 rupees note, 1 50 paise, 50 paise coin, 1 25 paise coin. Let us calculate the total amount. See here, 1 10 rupees note, 1 5 rupees note and 1 50 paise coin. And one more 25 paise coin. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. And say here 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. Come to this place. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 0 is again 5. Come to the next place. Your 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. That is 15 rupees 75 pies. 15 rupees 75 pies. See this example here. Here, 1 uh, 50 rupees note and 1 10 rupees note 
and one five rupees note to one rupee coins, one twenty five paisa coin. See the sum of these amounts. This is sixty seven rupees twenty five paisa. Okay. Sixty seven rupees twenty five paisa. Let us see one more example. Follow Mrs. Rai as she goes out for shopping. How much money does she have? When she gets back home, she has two hundred fifty-seven rupees in her purse. She spends fifty-two rupees fifty paise for vegetables and forty-eight rupees twenty-five paise at medical shop, and then she withdraws two hundred rupees from bank. Later, she buys tickets for one hundred twenty-four rupees at theater. Then she spends one hundred fifty-eight rupees in sweet shop, and she gets back fifty-three rupees by returns a book. Mrs. Roy has how many rupees now in her hand? When she gets back home, let us calculate. See here. She has two hundred fifty-seven rupees in her purse, and two hundred rupees she withdraws from bank, and she gets back fifty-three rupees from the bookshop by returning book. Let us find total money she has with her. Seven plus zero is seven. Seven plus three is ten. Write one here. Zero here. One plus five, six. Six plus zero, six. Six plus five is eleven. Write one here, one here, and one plus two is three. Three plus two is five. Total, how much amount she has with her? Five hundred ten rupees she has, and how much money she spent? We will find by adding these values. What is symbol for addition? Plus. Okay, zero plus five is five. Five plus zero is five. Five plus zero is again five. Write five here, and here five plus three is seven. Seven plus zero is seven. Seven plus zero is again seven. Two plus eight is ten. Ten plus four is fourteen. Fourteen plus eight is twenty-two. Two plus five is seven. Seven plus four is eleven. Eleven plus two is thirteen. Thirteen plus five is eighteen. Right, one here, eight here, one and one more one here. One plus one is two. Two plus one, three. So how much amount she spent? She spent three hundred eighty-two rupees seventy-five paise. How much amount she has when she went to home? Let us see. By subtracting three hundred eighty-two. Rupees seventy five paise from five hundred ten rupees. We will get the value. Minus three hundred eighty two rupees seventy five paise. Can we subtract seventy five paise from zero paise? No, it's not possible. Take one rupee from five hundred ten rupees. Five hundred Ten minus one is five hundred nine. Here one rupee we took. This is the place of paise. One rupee is equal how many paise? Hundred paise. We have to write here hundred. Hundred minus seventy five is twenty five. Nine minus two is seven. Here cannot subtract eight from zero. Take one from here. It is ten, and it will be four. Ten minus eight is two, and four minus three is one. Okay, here one hundred twenty-seven rupees twenty-five paise is the amount she has when she get back to home. Let us see a number story. On one particular day, the bank received five thousand nine hundred twenty-eight rupees and gave out five thousand twenty-one rupees. How much more money was received by the bank than? Given amount.
steps of problem solving the first one is read the problem and understand the question second one is find the important information given in the problem the third one is decide what to do the fourth one is solve the problem and answer the question the fifth one is check your answer so r f d s c r for read f for find d for decide s for solve c for c for check see here the amount received by the bank is 5928 rupees and the amount gave out is 5021 rupees okay let us see more money received by the bank so we have to subtract 5021 rupees from 5928 rupees let us do subtraction 8 minus 1 is 7 2 minus 3 is 0 and 9 minus 0 is 9 5 minus 5 is 0 so how much amount 907 rupees So, how much more amount received by the bank than given amount? Yes, nine hundred seven rupees.